Batch Lady here and welcome to my student course where today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple burger recipe. Burgers can still be quite expensive to buy and there's lots of stuff in them that you might not want to eat. You can make them so cheap. I'm going to show you how to make one for tonight and then one that you can have in the freezer for another time, okay? So really simple, salt and pepper, Liam Perrin sauce, which you probably have if you like cheese and toast if you're a student, that's what we all used to have, bit of mustard and half an egg and your mince, okay? I'm just using a small amount of mince here. Mine is beef mince. You could use um, a plant-based mince if you want to as well, so it doesn't have to be um, meat. Um, also use a higher fat content of mince if you want and you will get it at a lower price. So the higher fat that your meat is, the lower price it is. Um, okay, so really simple, okay? We're just gonna add some salt and pepper. We're going to add some Liam Perrins. I'm just going to add a good splash. I'm going to add a scoosh of mustard. If you don't like mustard, don't worry. You don't really taste it. It's just giving an enhanced flavour. Then I've got an egg in here that I've whisked up and I'm just going to use half the egg. Okay. And then just get in with your hands and start mixing it around. And just mix it till it all comes together. This is by far the cheapest a nicest way to make burgers. And once you've got it into your patty shape, just move it to the side. I'm just going to half it down the middle so they're roughly the same size. Give them a little pad like that and you've made yourself two burgers. Give your hands a wash before you open the bag. I'm just being quick here. Wash your hands and then add one burger into your freezer bag and that's your burger for next week. That's going in the freezer so you don't need to worry about it. And this one, we're just going to fry in the pan and put it on a roll and have it for lunch. It's going to be delicious. That's how easy it is to make your own burgers. Let's cook it. Okay, so your burger is ready. It's only going to take like three minutes each side to cook. I've put some oil in my pan and then I'm just going to add the burger to the oil. And just give it a little squish down like that and let it cook fully on one side before you flip it back over. Now, I'm cooking it on a pan like this. You could cook it in the oven, but switching your oven on for one burger is going to be expensive. If you've got an air fryer, you can put the burger in your air fryer. It'll roughly take a couple of minutes each side. Um, or if you've got like a, a George Foreman grill or something like that in your student accommodation, you can do it like that. Um, and you're just going to leave it to sizzle away, giving it a press down, flatten it out a little bit. The thinner it is, the quicker it will cook. And there we have it, the easiest burger ever. Just add it to your burger bun. I'm going to add some mayo to mine. Add your lettuce. A few bits of tomato, depending on what your budget is. There you have it. Absolutely delicious and only a few ingredients.